broke through. Uh, live? I think it is. We didn't break through anything. No, we didn't break through anything. Uh, well, uh, this is John Cheska. Hello, I'm John Cheska. And I'm Steven Weinberg. And we are the guys who created the Astronaut series. <laughs> which we are going to show you and then give you some secrets. All kinds of secrets. Specifically about astronauts, not about more oh things. I thought we were just giving away secrets I oh. have a whole list here <laughs> I, 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 I guess I can't use this then never mind for a few minutes so we'll figure that out <laughs> well thank you for joining uh, the virtual Texas book festival yes we are thrilled to be here we'd love to be in Austin right now yeah we're actually up in Steven's studio in the Catskills. Yeah, we're up. We can give you a quick little tour. Take him on a tour, Steven. Well, so we made, of course, Astronauts Book One. <laughs> You're making me sick, buddy. Okay. <laughs> very sick. And Book Two is coming out uh, this fall. Oh, yeah. The Water Planet. And then Book Three exists in our brains. And it's and happening on right here. This wall. It's just wrapping around Steven's so studio. This is how we make it. We put every part of the book on the wall. Wow. So it's currently in progress. Uh, and for those of you who hasn't, haven't seen Astronauts, uh, it's a three-book series about four super-powered animals. You can see them right here. Mm -hmm. That's a secret NASA program. Hence the extra N you may have noticed. It's not NASA. Uh, the secret laboratory is in Mount Rushmore, and these animals have to travel and find a Goldilocks planet. Mm -hmm. Because the climate has gotten so bad, that's the only thing they can think of. They're trying to find somewhere else we could all live. Or at least Someplace not too hot. Not too cold. Uh, not too smelly. Not too carbony. <laughs> but too much but carbon. just right. Yeah, so they travel... Well, number oh one. yeah, book one, they go to the plant planet. Uh, turns out there's a bunch of plants in charge that that doesn't work out great. Uh, not to be a spoiler, but also plant book two, they go to the water planet. And book three, they're going to the perfect planet. I hadn't found a single spread that made sense with anything you were saying. <laughs> All right, I'll say it more slowly. First, they go to the plant planet. There's lots of scary <laughs> plants there. Oh, well, wait, maybe show them the blast off. The oh. best thing is, um, they travel in a spaceship. Let's do a countdown all together. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's read this. Five. <laughs> I wrote this. Four. Three. <laughs> two. One. <gasps> NASA blast off. And yeah, you can see their spaceship is uh, Thomas Jefferson's nose. Of course. It's, it's the Thomas Jefferson nose rocket. Um, how else would you travel to go find a Goldilocks planet? <laughs> yeah, on this planet, the, the plants turn out to be not that nice. No. See, they can be kind of mean plants. Well, they're a little bit annoyed that somebody's coming on their planet and going to take it over. But one of the most exciting things about every book is not only are there a bunch of wrestling matches and battles... There's a fold-out battle in every book. So you see there's a part of the book where the battle's about to begin. It tells you very clearly where to put your paws or hands. <laughs> and then it happens. Dun, dun, dun. And of course this bum, format bum, is bum, not bum, the deal for it. But I love this spread because <laughs> I don't have to write anything. And Stephen just has to work for months on this. Months, months. Um, before... Which is kind of a nice weird intro. Like, you might have noticed that some of this artwork, um, in fact, readers have told us it looks very spectacular. I am pretty good at drawing, I guess, but You're these really are some good really drawings, good drawings. Too. And that's because I collage a lot of this art, or most all of it, from old art collections. Oh, I love this one. And this is a good segue. All the art that I collage from in this book comes from the Dutch National Museum. Which is why I used all these tulips. <laughs> Just shamelessly pandering and kissing up to the Dutch Museum. <laughs> yeah, so I take old engravings, like some by my friend uh, Albert Durer, as you can see right here. He's a fun guy. Those are great trees, right? Yeah. Um, and then I take them, and we can show you. That yeah. makes it very, very shaky. And this is the real secret to how I work. Let's show everybody how this works. Mm, we're going to turn you around. We were going to turn you around. I think you just turn it around. Oh, oh. is that button? Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. we're tech experts. 
Here's how Steven does. Look, you'll be looking right over his shoulder. I can see the back of my head. Oh my God, what the hell happened to your... Oh, heck, happened to your hair there, Steven. <laughs> Never... Okay, resume. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. John was the, the former national <laughs> yes, ambassador. Yes, national ambassador of young youth literature, literature or something uh, like that. Uh, so everything you see in this book, I've collaged and taken from other drawings like the one I showed you, and everything's in pieces. So you can see Alpha Wolf is just a lot of old drawings <laughs> You of just a wolf. took Alpha Wolf's head off. He disassociated. <laughs> uh, and this planet, this, this scene when they crash into the plant planet, it's a lot of different things. Like that's a palm tree from a really old Dutch drawing of when they were uh, colonizing Indonesia <laughs> very nicely. <laughs> Good um, footnote. And that's more trees. And I take all the stuff and I recolor it so it can be, I don't know. More, so it can be colorful. More colorful, <laughs> yeah. But that is a great thing that museums are doing now is they want people to use their artwork. Yeah, and we can even show you. So if you come to this screen now. What? Two screens. This is Stephen's other screen. Um, on the Rijks Museum website, the Royal Dutch Museum, they have all this art that I have just been sourcing from. So every book has its own gigantic bunch of files. I make this very hard for myself. Are you kidding me? Is that how you did it? I thought you were drawing all this stuff. I draw very little. Just oh, the eyeballs man. and the wiggly this arms. This is news to me. I have a great way to show how I make Alpha Wolf. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. I didn't paint this one. Another fellow did. <laughs> it looks just like your painting. I didn't do this one either. But this I'm is some of the collection they sure have sure you there. did. But so here is the old engraving um, uh, Alpha Wolf. That's where Alpha Wolf starts. So yeah. that's his first one. Like it. And then what I do is with Photoshop, I cut that part out. So it's just Alpha Wolf. Really simple. Oh, my hand's right blocking everything. Um, and then you get rid of the background. So it's uh -huh. all blacked out. Yeah. Get rid of the old weird German or Dutch. It's probably Dutch. <laughs> Most likely Mar Dutch. is done. I don't know what I'm saying. It's from the, you're speaking Dutch. It's from yeah. the Dutch Museum. Um, and then it's just Alpha Wolf. Some light surgery. And then rearrange all that, recolor. Oh, there's the magic. I add a slight background hue for uh, Alpha Wolf. Yeah. This is where my real drawing starts. This is <laughs> oh, the, I see. The you heavy have, lifting. You yeah. have been drawing. And okay. that's Alpha Wolf. And then I can put Alpha Wolf anywhere. So I put him in the book in this little scene of lots of plants because they're on the plant planet. But I can also put him in somewhere like downtown Austin. What? What? <laughs> or, so this is like the Texas Book Festival. This is just like it. He even <laughs> played in the big bowl game <laughs> yeah. with the Longhorns. Yeah, Hook'em Horns, I believe. Hook'em Horns. The term. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Bevo, they're tight. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That is so good. With collage, you can make anything true. <laughs> uh, but so all the art in the book, as I've been saying again and again, comes from these old drawings. So that's Laser Shark. That's Smart Hawk. Stink Bugs from a mess of these things. Um, those palm trees I showed you. Yeah. That's the palm tree. That's, that's amazing. Tree. That's how it happens. That's the palm tree. Oh. Oh, this is a good thing. So go to astronauts.space and you can see all these things that Stephen made. Um, there's also downloadable cutouts that Stephen has oh, already worked wow. on. It's like we prepared oh, this in advance. Yeah. And you, get, you can print out all of this stuff and make your own. Send it to us. Like, this is some stuff we've got from kids already. I really like when people start making their own stuff. Yeah. That's the point of all this art that's been put in the public domain by museums. They want it to get out of their flat files. They want people to do other things with it. Um, so we're kind of demoing that, but we love people taking it even further. And it's in the back of every book you can find this stuff, too, because that's really the thing we would just love kids to do. So, yeah, we explain... You know, without my oh, hands in the way. Less <laughs> this is less. more exciting, and plus we get to see your head. Yeah. <laughs> what else are we going to show them? Uh, oh, there is a giveaway. What? For the arc of book two, which isn't even coming out for a few months. That's amazing. Yeah, book one is out already. The uh, book two planet. is going to be out. The water planet is book two. Some month. August maybe. What's the what's the giveaway rule? If you comment. Oh, as long as you're on, you're in. Oh. Um, just by having shown up today, you are eligible to win this, <laughs> and the Texas Book Festival will DM you later. I like that. Um, and, you know, we're also going to slip in one of these official astronaut badges. What? That thing patches. that's on you that looks so professional. <laughs> Sounds like we're on the like, like, home shopping network. <laughs> it is. Let's get a close up. <laughs> 
Wow. Um, well, um... Yeah, let's put you back up here for a minute. Mm. Because we can show you a couple other things that we that are available online. Yes, um, because we know a lot of you are home with uh, kids, trying to yeah. find other fun art projects. And it just so happens, like a few months ago, not just the Dutch, but the uh, Smithsonian Museum opened up their collection to the public domain, a whole lot of it. And they liked astronauts so much, they said, why don't you guys have the astronauts go visit the Smithsonian? So we said, that's a brilliant idea. We would love to. Um, so we put out a pamphlet, a little brochure called How to Make a Collagesaurus, uh, which just shows everyone how you can use the Smithsonian collection. I think, and they have online, they've just put on, I think, 14, 15 of their museums. Yeah, it's like three million pieces of art. So we yeah. made a booklet, and you can download your own version of this. That's how to make a collagesaurus. Is that all reversed, like a mirror? Uh, we don't know. I don't know. I'm only on this side of it. <laughs> it looks wonderful reversed, though. I hope it is. <laughs> um, but how can we find this, Stephen? I will show you. I John. think you go to Smithsonian. Edu. Oh, sorry, it's si. There we go. Oh, si.edu? Do you want to flip this around again? Sure. Yep, if you go to si.edu slash open access, you can see a way to get to all their art, and then you can download this book as well. So this is pretty good. I mean, what happens here is our intrepid astronauts, who, as you know, are always doing some kind of secret project, yep. Wrong button. Um, go to the Smithsonian. And they realize we have to make a Collagesaurus. Where could we possibly go and do this? And luckily the spirit of James Smithson, <laughs> who's the founding donor <laughs> of the Smithsonian. Yeah, from like a couple, 100, 200 years ago, 150, he decides, well, you are in luck. I am the founding donor of the Smithsonian. And I'm here to tell you that millions of these images are available to you, copyright free. <laughs> Good, wow. good writing, John. Yeah, he's kind of... Well, it's James Smithson. He's kind yeah. of... And look at all these museums you can collage so from. So here's all the stuff you can collage from, which is kind of spectacular. The yeah. Portrait Gallery, the American History Museum, the American Indian Museum. And what do the astronauts use of those, John? Whatever well, they can find. Yeah, so Alpha Wolf grabs uh, Gilbert Stewart's <laughs> George Washington arm. Whatever Stephen could take. <laughs> Elixir Shark has the Wright Brothers. Oh, Charlie Parker's rig. saxophone. And then Stinkbug likes that uh, inverted Jenny stamp. Much sought after. Well, who doesn't? It's worth millions. It's worth so much. And they make a... Collagesaurus. <laughs> um... Which we kind of love. It's got a little bit of everything. There's the saxophone, the wings, the inverted Jenny. We threw in <laughs> as much as we could from as much of American art and the world's art history. I mean, that's Octavia Butler's keyboard. Yeah. Uh, I'm originally from D.C., so we put in a D.C. home rule. Of course. And, you know, it's taxation without representation. But uh, You're always saying that. I am. It's not fair. <laughs> got very political. But I can show you how I do that too, John. Are you kidding? Should we show him? Yeah. Ooh. We're going to show you all the secrets, but go ahead. It's secret time. So actually, come back over. <laughs> I almost dropped all of us. That would have hurt. I'm sorry, people. Aha. Look. Look, John. This is all these pieces of art from yep. the Sasonian that I was using for this. So this is a chair That's from just a chair. the uh, Cooper Hewitt collection. Oh. That's Octavia Butler's keyboard, mm -hmm. that DC home rule pin. <laughs> so many things. That's a really cool elephant. That's a beautiful elephant. That's Thomas Edison's original stock ticker. Everyone knows that. I don't know what that That's is. That's a bazandolin. It's like a mandolin, but bazan. That's a, a coin. <laughs> That's Frederick Douglass. And this is another great thing where we have kids send in um, what they've made from the Smithsonian, and it's just been hysterical so far of like uh, what they come up with. Well, although that really alone, I mean, you can download own. that, and it has no copyright restrictions for now some you're reason. Just scaring people. Look, they're they're leaving now, Stephen. <laughs> 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 wow. Well, and yeah, I do this all collage on Photoshop. But you can do it the old-fashioned way, just downloading and printing out and cutting out whatever you want to do and pasting together. Yeah. Yeah. 
Wow. Hmm. That's almost too many secrets. Whew. Yeah, I don't know. This is, uh, I have no more secrets. No. That, I think that's all the secrets you get. Yeah. So again, uh, you're all entered to win the Ark for Book Two. Your Astronauts, own the Warner's Patch. Um, maybe some books that are around Stephen's house. Yeah. Maybe this mug. I don't know. <laughs> Pencil shop. Now we're just looking for stuff to give away. So this is live. This is live. Well, thanks for being here yeah, with us, guys. Yeah, thank you so much. And please, the astronauts say hello. Yeah, and we can't wait to get back to Austin. We were there last year. We come every year. <clears throat> yeah. Best so book festival. Let's go back to that. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Shh.